complex numbers, I'm just going to focus on with this class because in this course this year, all we're going to be concerned about is just multiplying the body. All right? and we will get into some adding and subtracting, but just like polynomials, addition and subtraction, multiplication and division with complex numbers are going to be the exact same as they were with polynomials. So what I'd like you guys to do for a quick second is just think of i as a variable. All right? And the reason why I'm telling you to think of it as a variable because the operations with i are going to be exactly the same as they would be with the polynomial, except we have a little bit of a difference once we get into the i squared i cubed method. But until then, if I have multiply, we need to make sure we apply distributive property, just like anything else. So therefore, in this case, I have 5i times 3, and then I have a positive 5i times negative 2i. Right? Just like any other time you're going to. Then 5i times 3 is going to be 15i plus 5i times negative 2i is going to be a negative 10i squared. Right? But now, ladies and gentlemen, we've talked about this. Really, plus a negative is the same thing as subtracting, right? So I can rewrite that as a subtraction problem. But before I do that, i squared we know is represented to negative 1. 15i plus a negative 10 times negative 1. Well, negative 1 times negative 10 is going to be a positive. So therefore, I have 15i um, plus 10. But if you guys remember in your notes, I said a complex number is written in the form of a plus bi, right? So we want to write this in the form of a plus bi. So I write it as 10 plus 15i, where 10 is my real part, and 15i is my imaginary part. Okay? And that's it with that one. So that was example number one. Yeah, it wasn't bad, was it? Um, 